Hus. Hi guys. Thank you for coming back. Today I'd like to talk about how to start your technique. Quickest, strongest, sometimes smooth, depending on the need, but without any back motion. And uh, how to wind up internally, not externally. How to get energy inside your body. That's a very important subject because in real application, if you face somebody skillful, any back motion, chance. Any back motion is very dangerous. And uh, let me start with simply, you know, the more skillful you are, the less action space you need. You know, the more you use the feet in your body center, the less you need big movement. You can trust your power from less space, less space, but you can use your body. But that's just because you connect your body. But then we should be able to internal, internally wind up, create a slingshot inside your body by using the breathing and the synchronization of interaction of the abdominals, back muscles, and feet. In other words, your body center and feet with your breath. So let's start with the simple basics. If I want a reverse punch, exhale, back. We call it reverse exhale. Never inhale, because inhale cannot produce force. Exhale, back. And my stomach throat toward my back, which should be stable. And then the pressure goes to the floor. So stomach to to the circle, to the floor. Right? And then change exhale direction. <laughs> Breathing is like the trigger that releases the potential energy. Exhale back, <laughs> switch. Breathing direction. Exhale back, switch. Exhale back, switch. Breathing direction. Yes. Now, let's say in a case of basic blocks, see I use the breathing, but also the elbow. So pressure back, and if the block is slightly angled, see the breathing should be opposite direction, not straight back, slightly angled. And I use my elbow to increase this squeeze. <laughs> Reaction. Squeeze, pressure back and to the floor. Change, exhale, switch. Same. Squeeze. <laughs> Reaction. So in a way, you can say that this action that looks like back motion is to allow you to eventually remove back motion. So kind of contradictory. Seems contradictory. In the way we do the basics, back motion. We never can use this in application. But it's to teach us how to create energy internally. And eventually, you eliminate this and still use elbow, stomach, back, and flow. <coughs> Synchronization. Now, this is the base of it. When I spar, it should happen subconsciously. Automatically, if I, for example, shift back to counter, Amashirasa, shift back, you see my stomach is already creating pressure to the stable circum to the floor. That's why you don't want to lose your posture. You lose this pressure. And squeeze, reaction. See that? I internally matching stomach, back, breathing, and your footwork <laughs> to make the switch quick with more energy. Same to any direction. If I pivot, you see, stomach pressure back. And boom, in reaction. Right? Any direction I pivot. Inside, pressure. Reaction. If I block, see, as I block, stomach pressure back. 
to have the back leg. See that? Which make, actually make me produce more force to my block. But get internal slingshot for the next move. I, even if I block in place, inside, stomach back, pressure to flow. Reaction. Yes. So, the stomach going back, plus pressure to flow. Right. Reaction. And of course, with time you do it quicker and quicker. Even if I move with my opponent, I move any movement inside, according to the opponent rhythm. Stomach, pressure, 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 pressure. And it's very subtle. Pressure, pressure, pressure. So I can start any moment without any back motion. Right. While moving, any moment, <coughs> I can use the floor. Right. Now try to be careful. Let's say you shift back. Right, and you get this energy. Don't pull your hand back. <coughs> your arms stay here. Right. I see many people, even black belt, as they go, even if they create this energy, they still want to pull. To feel stronger, right? but you don't have the luxury because this extra pull can be the split second that determine win or lose. So prevent back motion. Yes, and prepare inside. This term, this concept is called tameo. Tameo means saving. You save energy. inside your movement. It's potential energy. And even if you start kata, it's, don't show it on the outside, but inside, squeeze. Squeeze. Reaction. Squeeze. Reaction. So inside already, preparation. Okay guys, very important subject. Not so easy. Need a lot of practice, right? But you, you, all the practice in the world, if you don't understand how to do it, it's not useful. Um, so you need to understand it and practice it slowly first and then see if you can use it when you spa. Hope it's useful. Thank you.